and girls today we are going to be reading this story and this story is called eat your greens goldilocks once upon a time there was a little girl called goldilocks she had big blue eyes curly golden hair and a very bad temper eat your cereal said her mum yuck shouted goldilocks she would never eat anything healthy just try it begged her dad no screamed goldilocks i want jelly and ice cream and i want them now but she didn't get them so she got up and ran away goldilocks ran through the forest before long she was lost tired and her tummy was rumbling she wished she had eaten breakfast then she smelled something yummy she followed her nose to a little cottage no one was home so she went inside phew i need to sit down said goldilocks first she sat on a big chair ouch too hard she said then she sat on a middle-sized chair. Ooh, too soft, she said. Then she sat on a little chair. Ah, just right, she said. Then, eek, as, she, as the little chair fell to pieces, she landed bump on the floor. Sitting up, she smelled the yummy smell again. It was coming from the next room. On the table were three bowls of porridge. Not poopy gloopy porridge, moaned Goldilocks. But her tummy grumbled so loudly that she decided to try it. First, she tried the big bowl. Ouch, too hot, she said, and threw it on the floor. Then she tried the middle-sized bowl. Ugh, too cold, she said, and threw it at the wall. Then she tried the little bowl. Yummy, just right, she cried, and she gobbled it all up. By now, Goldilocks felt sleepy, so she crept upstairs and found the bedroom. First, she tried the big bed. Ouch, too hard, she said. Then she tried the middle-sized bed. Ooh, too soft, she said. Then she tried the little bed. Ah, just right, she sighed, and she fell fast asleep. While Goldilocks slept, three bears came in. Big Daddy Bear, Middle-sized Mummy Bear, and Little Baby Bear. They found Baby Bear's broken chair, porridge all over the kitchen, and Baby Bear's porridge all gone. Then they saw the muddy footprints leading up the stairs. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed, said Daddy Bear. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed, said Mummy Bear. Somebody's still sleeping in my bed, said Baby Bear. Look! Who are you and what have you done to our house, roared da Daddy Bear. Goldilocks woke up. I, I, I'm Goldilocks, and I'm sorry, she cried. You better come to the kitchen, growled Daddy Bear. They're going to eat me, thought Goldilocks. First, Daddy Bear made Goldilocks mend the chair. Time for a snack, said Mummy Bear. They're going to eat me, thought Goldilocks. But Mummy Bear handed Goldilocks a banana and a glass of milk. Goldilocks ate the banana and drank the milk. Mmm, yummy. Then Mummy Bear made Goldilocks clean up the porridge. Time for lunch, said Daddy Bear. They're going to eat me, thought Goldilocks. But Daddy Bear handed her a bowl of soup and a slice of bread. Goldilocks ate the soup and the bread. Mmm, yummy. When Goldilocks had washed the stairs and made the beds, Daddy Bear said, Time for dinner. Please 
don't eat me, cried Goldilocks. We don't want to eat you, said Daddy Bear. We only eat nice, healthy food. Mummy Bear put a chicken casserole and a bowl of steaming vegetables on the table. Goldilocks was so hungry after all the work that she helped herself to a huge portion and ate it all up. After dinner, the bears walked Goldilocks home. On the way, they picked some blackberries. These would be lovely with jelly and ice cream, Baby Bear said. You eat jelly and ice cream? gasped Goldilocks in surprise. Of course, but only as a treat, said Baby Bear. Never for breakfast. And there you go, boys and girls. Our story is finished.